Hello. In this video, I will provide you with an overview of the application catalog within the Admin Studio Suite. My name is Mike O'Connor, and I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer with Flexera Software. In ITIL terms, the central repository for approved and, un and authorized applications is called the Definitive Media Library. Without such a library, upgrades are lengthy, application compatibility issues impact end users, support costs are higher, effort is duplicated, there's a lack of efficiency, and typically there's also license overspend. Now with a definitive media library in place, like the application catalog that's within Admin Studio, organizations gain several benefits. Those include improved operational efficiency, reduction in administrative costs, ability to test, customize, convert applications quickly, automation of application compatibility testing or remediation tasks, conversion of applications to virtual formats in bulk, and automated deployment of applications to various distribution systems. So now let's take a look at the application catalog within Admin Studio and how it will help your organization improve your application readiness efficiency and reduce costs associated with this process. So now I'm inside the application manager within Admin Studio. This is the main method for interacting with the application catalog. In this screen I can see the report center. This allows me to view all the applications I've already imported into my catalog and the corresponding test results, which include testing applications for both OS and virtualization compatibility, as well as for best practices. On this first dashboard report, I can see how many applications I have in my catalog and by type. Down here I can see which of my applications uh, on the desktop are ready for Windows 10 64-bit today, which ones I have warnings that I want to be aware of because they may cause issues, and which ones have errors which will prevent those applications from working properly. From the same report, I can see which of those warnings and errors I can automatically remediate using Admin Studio with a single click. This gives me the ability to quickly understand the effort in get, getting all of my applications ready for the upcoming OS migration. I can also see what desktop applications are ready for application virtualization and which ones will not work or at least have some limited functionality if I virtualize them. And here at the bottom, I can see which applications are following best practices, both for MSIs as well as virtual applications. So this is just the main report. Uh, there are other reports and ways to view this test data. From this report, I can see the OS compatibility for my applications broken out into different groups. In my example catalog, I've divided my applications by different departments within my sample organization. From here, I can see which applications uh, are ready and which ones need fixing. This can help me determine, for example, which departments are closer to moving to Windows 10 than others based on their applications and the current compatibility of those applications. In the Catalog tab, I can import applications in my catalog, either one at a time or in bulk, and then organize them into different groups. I can also set up a recurring schedule to pull in applications automatically. So here I have, here I have an application that I repackage in Admin Studio using the Repackager tool. Now I can test this application for my environment. For that, I'll go into the Test Center tab. Here I can choose which applications I want to test and what tests I want to run. I can click on this button and choose to enable or dis disable certain tests. More likely, you'll probably go only, only go in here once, set the test that you want to go ahead and test for, uh, but you can always come back here over time and adjust these. For this desktop application, I can choose the test for the desktop platform down to the architecture, and then the OS version as well. Then from here, I can go ahead and enable or disable individual tests to get further granular control. For each of these tests, there's information about what I'm testing for. There's an automatic fix available uh, that's available within Admin Studio, and even a link down to Microsoft with some more information about that particular test. There's also a wizard here to help you select the tests that are most pertinent for your environment. Now 
Now I can go ahead and select one or more applications in Teladmin Studio to run the test that I just selected. After a minute or so of testing this application, you'll see the test results and have the ability to drill into them for more details. So now you can see that this particular application is good to go for Windows 10. But it does have a missing shortcut, uh, which will pose a problem if I want to try to virtualize it. However, that's an easy fix. So I can go ahead and open this uh, application up directly uh, with the install shield editor that's part of Admin Studio right from within the application manager. Let's go ahead and you know, say I go went through that fix. Now I'm ready to distribute this application. So go back to the catalog tab and click on the tabs to the right here and customize the information uh, for this application depending on what distribution system I'm going to select that's inside my organization. For Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, I can go to the application model uh, information that's right here. And I can go and select these different fields, change anything that I need to. And it's all going to be saved here within the catalog. And it will all be published along with the application package itself into Config Manager. If I have Symantec's Altera solution, I can also do that as well. And if it's a mobile application, I, do, I can do the same thing for uh, AirWatch uh, for distribution too. Once I've done customizing the deployment information, I can go ahead and choose distribute. If I want to select other applications, I could do that. So I can um, distribute multiple applications in one go. There's my mobile um, for AirWatch. I can choose uh, System Center Configuration Manager. And I've got this pre-configured with Admin Studio. So again, set up a connection once, and I can reuse that information uh, multiple times when I go ahead and distribute applications. And from here, I can go ahead and finish the wizard and publish this MSI in this case, as well as all the application model information that you saw um, all gets loaded and configured into Configuration Manager. So as you just watched, I was able to test an application and publish it in my distribution system within a matter of minutes. We just look at the application catalog within Admin Studio. As you just saw, this catalog is integral with helping preparing applications within an organization. This application readiness process can be described in the six steps with a parallel management step, keeping every task on track and meeting defined SLAs. The catalog is specifically utilized with helping, uh, helping organizations assess compatibility of their applications, which leads to better planning. So with that information, I can then better plan what an application rollout would be. And that could be for an OS migration or even just day-to-day -day application preparation. This information it leads me to know exactly which applications need to be fixed and packaged in the correct format. And then from there, I can publish those applications into various uh, supported distribution systems to make their way to the end users. At this point, I encourage you to learn more about ad the Admin Studio Suite by contacting your Flexera account manager or business partner. Note the Flexera contact number for your region of the world on the screen. You can also learn more uh, by visiting the Admin Studio website at flexerasoftware.com forward slash Admin Studio. We have uh, several white papers on that site, including a white paper entitled Achieving Application Readiness Maturity, uh, which can help you rate your current level of maturity and help you become change ready and achieve continuous application readiness. You can access that paper directly using the link at the bottom.